your reaction to the latest threat from North Korea saying that they're not going to be boxed into the nuclear uh, Look, this is uh, something that we fully expected. Um, the president is very used and ready for uh, tough negotiations. And if they want to meet, we'll be ready. And if they don't, that's okay, too. And um, we'll continue with the campaign of maximum pressure if that's the case. But like I just said, uh, if they want to meet, the president will certainly be ready. And we will be prepared. But if not, that's okay. Sarah, 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 Sarah would you say nuclearization? Sarah. Uh, again, these are ongoing conversations. Beyond that, I don't have a lot to say, would you say uh, other than what we've already laid out, what our priorities are when it comes to these conversations, would you say uh, that and that we're going to be prepared if they take place. Would you say the summit is just as likely to happen as it was yesterday or less likely? Look, we're still hopeful that it takes place. We think uh, the same thing we thought yesterday, that it's an important uh, conversation to have, and it's something that we're, again, we're hopeful that it does. But are you expecting that the summit is still on? As far as the president's concerned, the summit is still on. Place Again, we're hopeful that it takes place, uh, and we're going to continue still moving Still planning forward. forward on that basis. Yeah, we're still Sarah, moving forward. Sarah, you said the issue. exercises and with the happens, South. if it happens, it happens. Why not postpone the exercises with the South as sort of a good faith effort to ensure that the talks go on as planned? Uh, again, we're going to continue moving forward, and... Um, don't have any announcements on making changes. Sarah, have you said this is fully expected? Communicated to directly to U.S. officials. I'm sorry. Have the North Korean comments been communicated directly to U.S. officials? I'm not going to get into those. Sarah, I'm not going to get into those what conversations. What was fully expected about this? You said this this was fully expected. Did did you believe that they would sort of pull back at some point, or we know that this is kind of a I guess a standard function uh, that can often happen and. You know, we're not surprised by it, but we're going to continue moving forward. Sarah, is there any, is there, is there any way you would move the goalposts on, on the request to denuclearize? Is Libya the model? Because the State Department hasn't said that. Only John Bolton has said that. Uh, I, I haven't seen that as part of any discussions, uh, so I'm not aware that that's... that's a model that that we're using. Even though but I would John Bolton said so on Sunday, I, I haven't seen that. That's like a specific thing. I know that that comment was made, but I don't think we're going off of. There's not a cookie cutter model on how this What's works. That? Look again. This is the uh, the President Trump model. He's going to run this the way he sees fit. Uh, we're 100 percent confident, as we've said many times before, and as we all know that you're aware, he's the best negotiator, uh, and we're very confident in in that front.